Question 2. The group 2 elements magnesium to barium. So they are silvery white reactive metals. A part 1. Draw a label diagram to show the bonding and structure of this group 2 metals. Okay, this question uh, you just need to draw 4 to 6 particles. So make sure this cation is surrounded by the negative charge particles which is the electrons and you must label that. So either you put cation or you just put the any group 2 uh, ions and you have to label the negative charge particle as the localized electron. Okay, part 2. Explain why magnesium has higher electrical conductivity than sodium. So we know that sodium is group 1, so it will release 1 electron, and magnesium is group 2, it released 2 electrons, which is more than the sodium. So we know that magnesium has more delocalized electron than sodium. This is easy. Part B. Write in equations for the reactions of magnesium with cold water. When they are state symbol, you can uh, you can give accordingly. When they are not really asked, so you just ignore that. Okay, magnesium with water. So it will form magnesium hydroxide. This is the the uh, white precipitate that will form, and it will form H two gas. Okay, part C. Identify a single reagent that can be used to distinguish the separate samples of dilute magnesium nitrate and the barium nitrate. So this one is quite easy. You can either use H2SO4 or sodium hydroxide. When you use H2SO4, the sulfate will react with barium from barium sulfate. So bar barium sulfate and uh, you see the white precipitate form okay that is a barium sulfate when you add sodium hydroxide then the magnesium hydroxide will form so barium sulfate is insoluble magnesium hydroxide also insoluble and magnesium sulfate is soluble barium hydroxide is soluble which means when you add H2SO4, the barium ions react with sulfate, so we know that okay, there is a barium ion inside. And the magnesium sulfate, it will not form precipitate. Okay, you can use either one. Huh? So H2SO4 or the sodium hydroxide okay you can choose either one then you just explain which one will form okay which one is insoluble that's all part d1 describe what is observed when the strontium iodide reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid okay strontium iodide uh, is uh, the reactions with the H2SO4 is similar uh, with the sodium iodide. Okay, so first it will form HI and the HI will further react and form multiple compounds. So describe what you will observe so you can see many things. First, you will see a white precipitate because when the acid starts to react with the strontium iodide, the strontium ion and the sulfate will form precipitate. So first you will see white precipitate. When the acid reacts with the, the iodide and is formed HI, 
the HI will further react with the concentrated acid form all these compounds is form iodine so iodine will will give the dark grey solid or purple gas rotten egg smell is the H2S or misty fumes misty fumes is the um, SO2 Rot, uh, the, another one is yellow solid yellow solid is the sulfur okay, so you can see all these products Okay, part two, this calculation, uh, you need to know the mole ratio. Okay, compound X is an anhydrous group 2 bromide. So it can be magnesium bromide, it can be calcium bromide, barium bromide. Okay, and this one can dissolve in water and if you form precipitate with silver nitrate. Now, a solution containing 0.25 gram of X required 33.65 cm cube of 0.05 mole per dm cube silver nitrate for complete reaction. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is try to find the moles of silver because here you can use MV over 1000. So substitute the concentration and the volume in to this uh, MV over 1000 so you get this mole and we know that the moles of bromide must same as the silver ion that use one to one ratio so that's why the mole of bromide is this same one thing that you need to know is when the group 2 bromide is dissolved it will form one mole of cation and two moles of bromide that's why we know that the moles of x must be half of this bromide so therefore is this 8.4125 times 10 power of negative 4 once we know the moles of x the compound x then we can use the mass that given to find the molar mass so we use the mass that given 0 0.25 over the mole that we calculated just now so we will get 297.2 okay so from here you can roughly deduce what is the uh, group 2 elements because we know that is MBr2 so you just use the mass that calculated here minus the 2Br first means here 2 times Br you get this right okay so then you get 137.4 uh, which is barium so we know that x must be barium bromide okay. that's all for this question thank you